Well, first of all, thank you both very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. We, we really appreciate it. So thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. Great to be here. Mobility XX, what is it? So Mobility XX is an initiative that ITS America, along with um, two partner organizations, WTS International and The Ray, um, launched um, actually a little over a year ago. And it is really focused at its core on increasing the number of women and the, um, in transportation and the perspectives um, of women in transportation. Um, and the reason that we started this initiative is because if you look at the overall transportation sector, which is about a 15 million person workforce, Women make up only 15% of that workforce and even fewer at decision-making levels. And when then you take the next step and you look at, well, what does that mean for women? Why is that important? Um, you actually can see that if you look at how women use the transportation system, there are a lot of inequities that, that, that women in particular, but also um, diverse folks face uh, with the system. So for example, women pay more for safe transportation. Um, and there have been studies done that show, it, they call it a pink tax. Um, and essentially it is, you know, you pay more for, let's say, uh, an Uber or a more, um, a different mode of transportation than taking transit, maybe at night or at certain times, um, because you're going to pay more for safety. In addition, um, women take shorter trips um, and to different destinations than our transportation systems were typically envisioned for. Um, so for example, women are not necessarily just going from you know, their home outside the city into the city center to work. Um, they might have to stop and pick up um, dry cleaning. They might have to stop and pick up a prescription. They might have to stop and pick up the gallon of milk. So they're, they're doing um, a lot of their home care and family responsibilities um, as a part of their journey. And so therefore they also pay more in order to trip chain those together. And they also lose more time um, which all equates to reduced economic opportunity overall for women. And so Mobility XX was created to bring awareness and to bring some action um, within the industry to support the need for more female voices in transportation, more female voices in leadership, so that we can actually create the outcomes that serve not only women, but all community members better in our transportation system. So what do we need to do to improve equity and inclusion in transportation? I like to first start thinking about the, the so what and why it is that we're doing this. As Laura was pointing out, really, um, transportation is the core of our communities. It, it helps provide access to health care. It is a, a, a key approach to getting people out of poverty. And as transportation solution providers, we have to look at it as we're serving communities. And in order to serve communities better, you have to have good representation of the community you're serving within the workforce. Roughly 50% of the population is women. You then equally need to have an equal level of participation uh, on our side, those that are developing and providing the solutions. So going back to your question of what we need to do is it really starts from lots of community outreach, getting uh, people in the communities engaged, um, starting at an early age, getting uh, young women excited, interested in serving their communities, serving the transportation community, either as engineers, uh, policy makers, uh, there's a, a number of different areas uh, they could enter, but getting to that audience early and, and then working with them through university studies, encouraging them to go through university, and then once they enter the workforce, uh, working through that and uh, providing their, an ability for them to progress in the ranks within whatever organization they're in. Let's just pick up on, on, on organizations and, uh, and uh, let me ask you if I, if I might, what are you doing within your own organizations to uh, promote inclusion and uh, equity? So within ITS America, we're doing a number of things. Um, you know, we, we have a, a, a diversity, equity, and inclusion um, statement, obviously, that, that, that as an organization um, we adhere to. Um, we've also taken steps to increase the diversity of our staff and of our leadership. So for example, our board, um, our incoming vice chair um, is a woman. Um, and so we're, we're making um, progress in increasing diversity among our leadership. Um, we're also taking a look at you know, what we call our volunteer leadership within our committee structure 
And that's another area where we have really prioritized making sure that we have diverse voices, um, not only female, which of course we support, but um, having you know, uh, other diverse perspectives represented as well within our committee leadership um, so that you're actually creating a pipeline of diverse leaders um, that will you know, eventually be um, in uh, the you know, top leadership positions within the organization. When I first heard Laura speak about Mobility XX a year, year and a half ago, I immediately texted her saying, how can we support? And um, so I'm proud to say we were one of the first to actually sign the pledge. But within our organization, um, even before Mobility XX, we had already uh, put out our own diversity inclusion policy and inclusion policy. Uh, we had also started what we call the FAIR program, which is Females at ITERIS Rising. Uh, it is a, it's within the organization with executive level sponsors uh, within the company and it brings women across our company together to share ideas and help promote women within the organization. Uh, in addition to that, we've had um, a series of webinars that include women in the transportation industry. Our very first one was attended by, uh, by Laura and also one of our board members. We have two of our board members, company board members that are women. So we've, we've even prior to Mobility XX, we were very much engaged in getting the women within our company engaged. Uh, and then of course, as, as one of the first companies to, uh, to sign the Mobility XX uh, pledge and sponsoring it. We're very much um, supportive of the program. Finally, 2022, all looking forward to it, big year, but also with the World Congress uh, coming up. So Laura, what's the, what's the plan? What's the, what, uh, what have you got planned going into 2022? Well, so um, for 2022, we have quite a bit, and I'll actually pick up on something Ramin mentioned, which is this pledge. So one of the initiatives within our Mobility XX work is we did launch a pledge just about six weeks ago, um, and we're calling it the 10 in 10 pledge. And it is a call to action for the broader transportation industry to increase the number of women in the transportation industry by 10% in 10 years. That may not sound like a lot, but it actually is because over the past 15 years, the proportion of women in the industry has only um, grown by 3%. So a 10% increase um, is actually uh, you know, a, 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 a big goal, but achievable goal, we believe. Um, and so we have asked for our member companies and um, other companies in this space to sign this pledge and commit to taking action that will meaningfully increase the number of women in their companies, thereby helping us get to this 10 in 10 goal. So that's one thing, and we will be continuing um, to, uh, to um, promote that pledge and sign up new companies throughout the year in 2022. We're also, as a, as a part of that pledge, we're running some workshops, some peer exchange workshops. So um, organizations that do sign this pledge, and by the way, they can be public sector organizations, private sector organizations, um, that they'll have an opportunity to share ideas and share challenges, um, you know, in a, uh, on these workshops, so that they can um, they can you know trade best practices, if you will. Um, and then also in the, for the World Congress, um, we are uh, we have had a lot of interest um, in this topic, and so we are planning a gender equity in transport um, forum at the World Congress, where we do want to bring in other countries. Um, and have a real discussion around what are um, different countries doing um, to address these issues and solve some of these challenges because the reality is that it's not that it's just the United States that faces these challenges. These challenges are faced by women all over the world um, and so the global community can collectively come together and um, hopefully brainstorm some solutions to this challenge. Sounds great. Thank you both very much indeed for joining us. We really appreciate it and I hope the Congress goes well for you so thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.